Hi, it's Chicken Bone John here, and I'm going to talk about making a six string cigar box guitar using a standard neck. These are fender type necks. I've got a couple here, um, and I just want to talk about how best to go about it. I say this is a standard fender type neck, and it's set into a pocket in the body. So you can see there are the screw holes. There are the screw holes for fixing it in. You've got a neck plate which fits in at the back and four screws. They're often called a bolt on neck, which is a misnomer because they are just screwed on. This square end, uh, that's a, called a Telecaster style. There's another one with a radius end and that's known as a, a Strat style neck. But they've all got the the same sort of spacing this is a great thing that leo fender did it's a sort of standardized thing now all you the first thing you need to do is get a box that's the right size so that you can fit your bridge on so this is a 25 and a half inch scale neck so you can see 25 and a half inch from your nut to the bridge saddle now the key to doing this easily is use standard fender style hardware it doesn't have to be fender but it's all pretty much pattern stuff so we've got the standard fender style neck plate and screws we've got a modern sort of style telecaster bridge that's one without the saddles you can see it's got holes here for the strings this is what's called a top loader. The other style have got holes in the base plate and they go through and you have string ferrules anchoring it from the back. That's the sort of pickup that will go in here. Oh. Usually got, so you need quite a big cutout for that. In here, we've just got a, a mini humbucker and that's a standard control plate. The key thing is if you set this up like a regular Fender guitar, with your neck pocket, I think it's five eighths inch deep, your regular telly or strat style bridge, either will work. All your action and that will, will work fine. So you need a box that's long enough to accommodate your neck fixing. You can see how much room that's going to take up and get your bridge on. So that's, you know, box, that sort of box is ideal. Longer is fine. If it's shorter, then you're not going to fit everything in. I'll just take these things off. That's just dropped in temporarily. So there's a hole in there. Take, take our... Uh, sorry, the, we'll take the bridge pickup out, take the neck pickup out. And we'll take the neck out. You see, it's a fairly snug fit in there, which is what you want. Okay. This is our box. And if you, we open it up... You can see what we've done is put a block right the way through. So this is effectively a sort of solid or semi-solid guitar. So your next screws in here, you know, your back, your screws go through, anchor the neck in there. So that means you've got this con continuity and you need something solid for this bridge to screw down onto so that's why you need this block it's got to be that wide really to to accommodate it make sure your screws are going to be about there not right in the end so you do need a, a good amount of purchase and as you can see that's routed out for our tele style pickup these holes are to a, accommodate if the uh, adjustment screws are a bit little long and here we've got a uh, room for a, a mini humbucker holes are just cut through the top what we did was make this in two parts i set it up figuring out i needed five eighths depth of pocket figured out how thick that base needed to be and it went in in two parts i'll show you on this other one one in progress uh, so it's easier routing it out like that because you can set set that base up without i needed to do any routing and then this other one went in as a separate layer. Let me show you on this other one. 
Same sort of thing. You see, this neck's got a radius end, which is a strap type um, fitting. So they, they're not entirely inter interchangeable. On these modern necks, the fretboard overhangs on a traditional guitar. You would see the, the shape of the fretboard, uh, see the shape of the neck at the end. So that comes out as is dropped on. That's a more traditional style ashtray bridge, but the same sort of setup. We'll take that out. We've got a Bill Lawrence uh, blade pickup in here. We open this up. I'll turn that round because I think that's going to be in the way. Turn that round. At the moment, I've not routed for a neck pickup. I'm undecided whether I, I will. But that's how we did it. So we set this block in, glued that in. It's a piece of beach. Routed that separately. So you don't have to worry about the depth. You preset the depth. Did that cut out for the pickup. And then that now what we can do is simply... Glue that in place, and that's ready. I need to decide what I'm doing with my pickup and controls and so forth. I'm having to think about that at the moment. So that's a nice, easy way of doing it in two, in two parts. But the essential thing is you need that, con that continuous block from the heel through to the bridge fixing. And it really is that easy. In some ways, it's a bit of a cheat. Because, you know, that's a standard neck. I've hacked around the top, stained that up. That will get some uh, true oil in it. You can see the fixing's dead easy. Just goes in here. Your four screws just go through here. The one thing you do need to watch out for, though, is if you're using a box which is much deeper than a re you know, regular guitar body is going to be about that deep. So do be careful that your screws are not too long, so they come, might come through the face of the fretboard, or that they're not long enough to give you a decent bite into the heel. If they're not, you know, if it, if the, if it is a deep box, you might have to use some longer screws. These are the sort of specific ones for the guitar, but I've used number eight wood screws, and that works absolutely fine. So there you go. What we will do... I think with these boxes, I'll go back to the other one. Because this is all routed out now, I've got wiring passages here. I've got my jack in the end. I can actually glue that all up. I don't need any more access to these voids because I can get in my, all my wiring done there. Normally I will leave cigar boxes open, but on this occasion, I think I'm going to glue everything down, then fit my hardware and wire it. So, um, that's how I would do a six-string cigar box guitar with a, a bought-in neck. Thanks for watching, and bye for now. Happy building.